What's going on, Invernally Sports? Back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Toronto Raptors season as, of course, um, you know, they're looking ahead to the offseason now as the Indiana Pacers can win tonight to eliminate the Toronto Raptors from play-in contention. The Raptors, you know, they're not really looking um, to make the play-in at this point. Of course, they're trying to get the best draft pick they can and move forward in the offseason. But this season was one that the Raptors cannot and should not be judged based off of as this season really isn't who they are. The Toronto Raptors are a very, very good basketball team that, you know, will still be very good uh, moving forward into next season. And, you know, in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the reasons why I think they, you know, had some issues and why they weren't who we thought they would be. And the first one, of course, is the fact that they were playing in Tampa at Amelie Arena and not Scotiabank Arena. Um, the Toronto Raptors... Every game, essentially, for them was an away game. They, you know, couldn't play at home. And a lot of, you know, there's a, being able to play at home is a lot more than what us as fans see. Um, but the players can't live in their own homes. They can't, you know, do the things they would normally do, sleep in their own bed, you know, go to their own washroom, all that stuff. You know, you got to take that into account um, in a season like this. The second thing is the fact that they didn't have a center. At the beginning of the season, Aaron Baines was their starting center, which was pathetic. Um, and I think every fan, in the, every Toronto Raptors fan, absolutely hates Aaron Baines. And he's, uh, you know, signed under contract next season under a team option. So that'll be, you know, obviously he won't be back. Aaron Baines sucked. Um, he's pathetic. He's old. He's not good at basketball. And there's no reason for him to be making $7 million. I wouldn't. As a team, I wouldn't even give him a veteran minimum deal. Um, he was that bad for the Raptors. He was, you know, in my opinion, the reason they were terrible at the beginning of the year. They lost a lot of games by a small margin, five points and, you know, under. And if you take a look at the box score, a lot of those games were, you know, the Raptors lost because of rebounding, um, where the opponents had 10 re offensive rebounds more than the Raptors, and they had like 15 second chance points. That was a major, major, um, you know, contributor to the fact that the Raptors. Um, were winning games and then you saw when they got Ken Birch, Freddie Gillespie they were a much different team on the glass so if they start with Freddie Gillespie and Ken Birch at the beginning of the year this season looks a lot different but Aaron Baines won't be back next season um, and he shouldn't be and I can't wait till he's officially gone and the last thing guys is all the missed games in the COVID um, you know the fact that we got hit by COVID um, and that's, that's, you know, on the NBA, because at the end of the day, when teams like Boston and, you know, Charlotte and San Antonio got hit by COVID, they got two weeks off and you look at the Toronto Raptors and they had to play with eight guys. It's just ridiculous. And the NBA, I mean, they, they, they completely proved that the Raptors are hated and, you know, they don't like the Raptors. And at the end of the day, the Toronto Raptors had one of the most, um, you know, man miss games in the league from either COVID or injuries, you know, or whatever the case may be. Um, the fact that, you know, they had to play in those games was just ridiculous. And, and then there were teams like Boston and Jason Tatum coming out and say, Oh, I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still not a hundred percent. Meanwhile, he got, you know, he got a few weeks off the Raptors, you know, they got, I think one or two games off. So that was a big, big part in the season. Um, that was a part of their, you know, brutal month, um, of, you know, March. So I think the Raptors next season moving forward will be a much better basketball team. And I think that um, this season was not who they are. And, you know, moving forward, they'll be a much better team. Next year, they'll be contenders again in the East. Top five, that's what the Raptors will be. But as always, guys, please let me know down below in the comment section what you think the Raptors will be moving forward. I think they'll be a top five team in the East, a contender in the East. But you guys let me know. And as always, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already done so. See you guys all in the next video.